Bro, today was a really, really proud day. Yeah? Do you know why? Did you catch a squirrel? We got to see the product that Jeff and I have been working on. The beach scoop. Those are all such big words. Oh, God. Sis. Leave me alone. Why do you have to be so extra? I told you I don't like you. Listen, sis. I got good news. Good news would be you, the monster, moving to Antarctica. Actually, you're wrong. I'm not a monster. I'm a honey badger. And this is an early version of the honey badger scoop. See? Honey badger scoop. We absolutely devoured the 231 comments that you left. And all of these were so, so helpful. And we get it. You want lightweight you want affordable, you want something that is going to last you forever, something that's sturdy, something that can easily go with you if you travel. What I mentioned before were the universal factors. Now there's other factors, uh, there's other requests rather, uh, that uh, we are trying to really wrap our brains around how we're going to meet this demand. In terms of the materials used, some people requested titanium, some people requested stainless steel. Some even said aluminum. It was almost unanimous. Everybody wanted a carbon fiber shaft, though. There was a, many requests for a jewelry catcher in the middle. Uh, in other words, uh, smaller holes that can get really, really small stuff. That has already been designed into the scoop. That is definitely coming. One of the things that we're going to change from this prototype is you're going to have hexagonal holes that will help uh, the sand get through more efficiently. This scoop is being designed to be big in that it moves a large volume of dirt at a time and as light as humanly possible. There were two other things I noticed in the comments. We have an outside-of-the-box thinking audience. A lot of people actually mentioned the addition of a magnet that would, of course, uh, pull the iron objects uh, that can be attached to it. We're looking into that. Um, and the other one was a flashlight uh, that can be attached to the shaft uh, for when you're hunting in the dark. So you gave us 230 comments to work with last time. Any feedback that you have would be greatly appreciated.